who will rescue the UDA boat from sinking even after the president of the, of the Republic of Kenya, that is Dr. William Samoy Ruto, saying that no one should disrespect his deputy president, that is Rigathi Gashagua. Yule alazanga kupigana na mimi, arabuni tutupigane. It's okay. Arabuni tutupigane. Sidiyo? Eh. Welcome back to Vana Media. My name is Bonfes Wino, and as usual, I'm going to be your host for today. Deputy President, that is Rigade Gachagua, is still facing a lot of opposition, whereby even Didmas Baraza, that is one of the MPs that comes from Western Province, decided or declared to do the Lord's work, trying to explain how they elected Deputy President because he was not qualified by then. I wanted to listen to the way Dismas Baraza was speaking and then we come back so that we can do talk about so that we can discuss about this and uh, see what is really going on in the government or in the UDA party. Kwa sababu nimeona vile mazungumzo yanaendelea. Vile naibu rais wetu Rigathi Gachagua ambaye ni mdosi yangu ameanza kuzungumza lugha ambaye inakinzana na lugha ya watu kama kina Jeremiah Kioni watu kama Eugene wa Marwa na watu kama Raila Odinga. Sisi kwa serikali yetu hii ya Kenya kwanza tulinasa Raila Odinga ako upande yetu tunapeleka yeye AU akue chairman. Na ni kama Jack Hawa ni kama pia hao wamenasa rigiji. Nimeona lugha ya rigiji akiongea ni kama hao pia wamemnasa. Siasa inakuwa namna hiyo unanasa wawili mmoja wenu ananaswa. <laughs> na respectfully I have the privilege ya kuwa na Rais wetu William Ruto kuanzia mwaka wa 2017 mpaka sasa. Respectfully na heshima kubwa. Nataka nimkumbushe na Ibu Rais kwamba wakati tuliunda hii chama ya UDA wakati ilifika wakati ya kutafuta na Ibu Rais running mate ya Mheshimiwa William Samoei Ruto nilikuwa baadhi ya wale watu ambao tulifanya mkutano tukiongozwa na naibu wa rais wakati ule ambaye ni rais wa sasa tukasema viongozi wote wa mkoa wakati ule wa zamani from central province wale ambao wamechaguliwa tukawaambia waende wajifungie mahali tukawapatia room kwamba wafanye mazungumzo wapike kura na watuletee jina ya mtu mmoja ambaye ndio angekuwa deputy president ama running mate wa William Samoei Ruto hao walienda wakakaa wa bunge na viongozi na maseneta na wa magavana walikuwa watu zaidi ya hamsini kwenda kufanya kikao wamchague yule ambaye wangependelea kuwa running mate wa William Samoei Ruto Mheshimiwa Rigathi Gachagua alipata kura moja Sisi na kwanza mimi naomba mimi mwenyewe nikiwemo Oscar Sudi Ndindi Nyoro Faruk Kibeti tuko na kazi kubwa ya kuomba msamaha wale viongozi wote wale wa centro ambao walipatia rigiji kura moja sisi tukaona huyo tundi anafaa na William Ruto akakuwa mungwana akatifai bila hao walikuwa wamechagua wame, wame Abraham Professor Western is saying the way they gave deputy president that is Rigathi Gachagua seat He's saying that Rigathi Gachagua was not qualified to be the deputy president but uh, being that the committee that was formed Uh, by the by the president or, by, or that was formed to give the president uh, his deputy uh, did not succeed in doing what they were expected to do and that is why they ended up giving the Gadi Gashagwa seat despite the Gadi Gashagwa garnering one vote amongst them and is even recommending people like uh, Oscar Sudi uh, Farouk Kibet and him saying that they are the people that form the committee who were to advise the president on who to elect but the mistake was done when they elected Rigathi Gachagua to become the de deputy president of William Samoe Ruto there is something that i talked about here and i'm still i'll still continue saying it that sometimes it is normally difficult for uh, people Uh, who are in problems to discover that they are in problem i'm talking about this because right now rigathi kachagua is is when rigathi kachagua is realizing that uh, he is in problem but by then he did not realize that 
Another thing that is happening is that there is no way Didmas Baraza can publicly say that uh, it's like Rigathi Gashagwa is also following the footsteps of people like uh, Will Uhuru of uh, Raila Amolo Dinga. Why? Because during the time that, Rigathi, that Raila Amolo Dinga wanted votes, he started this, this issue of, uh, of tribalism. And that is, that, is the th that is one of the major things that ended him. Now it is time for Rigathi Gashagwa. Rigathi Gashagwa is really working so hard on how to unite the people of the mountain. And this has been Rigathi Gashagwa's prayer and cry every day. And I told you that there are three things that Rigathi Gashagwa is working on. Number one, is working on how to become the deep, how to become the kingpin of the people of the mountain. And that is why he's, he normally sings very every day that he wants the people of the mountain to unite as one. Another thing, he wants to form his own political party. As it stands right now, there is one thing that Rigathi Gashagwa wants. He wants to form his own political party together with the people that come from the mountain. Remember when Jeremiah, Kyo, Jeremiah Kioni said that they have got no problem when they were planning for the, for the Limuru 3. He said that they have got no problem whatsoever on who will stand. And uh, yesterday we had one of my videos. I, I played one of the videos here. If you have not watched it, you can watch it. When uh, Makarima, that is one of the, one of the strong supporters of Rela Molodinga that comes from Meru, who stands for the physically challenged people, said that right now is behind Rigathi Gashagwa. And they are capable of giving the president, giving out the president, presidential candidate, and the deputy. And they can come out to vote as many as they, uh, they, they can so that they can elect their own from, from, from Central, from Mount Kenya. I don't know what, it, what, is, what is it. And another thing here is, it comes a time or uh, another problem that makes these politicians fail is this. And this thing happened with people like Matiba. It happened with people like Raila Moludinga. Yesterday, citizens that live within Nairobi County uh, went to CBD to strike on this issue of financial bill. And when, where they were crying, they were shouting and uh, complaining on the high cost of living. There is something that is really happening. And I think uh, Babu Wino is, is, going, is, is going in a mess. There is no way a politician can think that... Uh, Following or demonstrating, uh, being, being amongst the people that are demonstrating is doing lots of work and uh, maybe that, is, that will be one of the major reasons of, of, of why he will be elected. It will not happen. There, there are a lot of things that these politicians are supposed to do. I wanted to watch this video. I wanted to listen to the way Babu Wino was speaking. And then I uh, would like us to meet in the next video if it is possible. Just so you mind, if you're meeting for the first time, please. You can also, you can take a minute, go to the subscription area down below, subscribe, and also like. You can also drop me a comment and tell me where you're watching us from. If you're within the country, you can tell me which county are you watching us from. And if you're outside the country, it is also good. As I normally say that it's also good so that you tell me which country are you watching us from. And I will not fail to thank those who have been giving us your support because your support is really making us grow at a very high speed, which is really much encouraging. Thank you very much, people like... Uh, Help me 2546, people like o Onyango, people. I thank, thank you very much. May God bless you. And those who are coming from Dubai, from Arab, from, from Iraq, from, um, from Italy, thank you very much. Those who are coming from Brazil, thank you for telling us where you're coming from. I really appreciate what you're doing for us. And until we meet again, I've been your host, Bonfisa. We know. Bye bye.